Hello and welcome back to yes, Sky Gaming. And we're back with another Haiku reaction video. So we're having a blast with this series. Last episode, I think they teased that we're headed into the tournament. So I'm actually some meaningful games 12 episodes into the damn season. And I'm excited because you know how I feel about that. So thank you all for the thoughtful comments you've been putting down below. The just paragraphs of commentary and stuff and your thoughts on some of the things that I've been saying. So uh, I'm going to get to commenting on those eventually. So thanks for your support. Uh, I appreciate it. Keep them coming. Uh, it's super helpful. I read them all and it helps me to figure out what the heck is going on in this show. Anyways, I'm excited. Let's get to it. Okay, we're already here. They've got the sign up and everything. There's a, like a program and everything and people are coming to watch. Like, it's a big deal. Let's go, Karasuno. We're here to get the job done, my boys. Okay, so these guys have a little bit of a reputation. People are pointing them out, saying who they are. Nice boys. I love the looks they're giving everybody while these random guys are just describing who they are. Oh my god, oh, of course they gotta tie in the cute manager. God damn these losers. <laughs> what is he sick again? He's all nervous again? He ain't there? What the heck? Threw up on the way here? You nervous again, buddy? Let's go! <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Oh my gosh, this is madness, you guys. Okay, can you just relax? <laughs> so these guys are talking about puking, and these guy, random guys watching are like, what the hell's going on? I get it, boys. Okay, right, so the team who they're playing already played their game. Episode 12, let the games begin. I don't need to hear about your time to pee, Hinata. Oh, you meet this guy. Whoa, this guy's being rude. Ogi Minami. Oh, that's the team we're playing right now. Let's go. <laughs> this guy chirps him right away. Okay, so he has an intense encounter with the guy on the team they're about to play. Hinata just has a habit of telling everybody that he's going to kick their ass while wearing a dumb shirt. Okay, so they're getting out there ready to warm up. Yes, let's go, boys. Okay, we're warming up, but I just need to set the stage for myself a little bit here. So just to refresh from last time, they have to win two games. Because a couple, like four teams make it into the next phase of the tournament, and they need to win two games to get in there. They got a bye because they performed well, but then this gets them onto the next stage, which is not quite nationals though, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is the perfectionary whatever qualifiers for the regional tournament, which then determines if you get into nationals or not. Right? think we're good. So I'd be nervous too, because if you blow it here, you're totally screwed. Oh, this other team's throwing chirps. I love it. Look at these punks. What are you doing? Is it, This is a new... You're just praying or something? <laughs> I love Tanaka. I love this guy. Look at him. What? Why is he all zen and then super intense? I love it though. Alright, let's go. We're playing the game. Like, I'm ready. A team of punks versus Karasuno. I forget the other team's name already. Oh, Yachi doesn't get to sit on the bench? What the heck, Yachi? Are you kidding me? Okay, we gotta watch number one on the left. Okay, what's this coach gotta say? Takana. Okay, he, he just reminding them how they've lost 70 practice games. Coach, it's not the time for that, buddy. I'd love to see like a nice coaching move from Coach Yukai, because right now... Oh, there's Coach Yukai Sr. Yes! Let's go, Yukai! He's maybe my favorite coach character. Maybe my favorite character total. I love that guy. Only one manager allowed on the bench. 
Oh, Yachi, I'm so sorry. I would have fight so hard to get Yachi to sit on the bench. He's a part of the team, basically. Great line from Coach Yukai. I'm sorry, I'm a huge fan of Coach Yukai because he seems like a pretty well-written character volleyball-wise. He said, there's no match that you can't win, and there's no match that you'll win for sure. We say something similar like that over here in North America, and I forget exactly what we say, but basically, you can win on any given day and you can lose on any given day. So you gotta go, that's why we play the games, because you gotta go and execute. Thank you, Coach Yukai, for reminding of that, us of that, that these guys still gotta go deliver. Maybe there'll be some drama in this match, I hope so. Come on. I also forgot, we're checking out the lineup here. So, yeah, so this is, this is interesting. They got, uh, Tanaka at the what we call the P1 spot beside the setter and Asahi in the P2 spot which is two away from the setter so when Kageyama's in the front row he'll be in the front row more often with Tanaka which is strange to me because that player will have only two hitters for more time which means they're more likely to get set I, I guess the thought is that Asahi's really good at hitting the pipe so when the setter's in the front row, you want to have that pipe option with Asahi rather than using Daichi on the right side. But we never see Daichi get set on the right side anyway, so maybe it doesn't matter. Anyway, maybe I'm reading too much into this. By the way, Hinata is at the M2 spot. Is at the second middle spot because, again, he's two away from the setter. Tsuki is right next to the setter. So that kind of makes sense. You got the big... But I don't know. Maybe If, if Hinata is such the offensive threat... Why wouldn't they have him beside Kageyama in the lineup so that they can run the step around more often, they can run shoots more often because Daichi won't be there on the right side getting in their way. I, I don't know. Interesting lineup. All right, Asai's going to start with the rip. Let's go, buddy. Headband. Former man bun. Headband goatee. Let's go pound it, Asai. Yes! Let's go, buddy. Everybody's shocked. Yes! Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's great. And they're all like, what? Like they've never seen that before? Let's go. They just said, let's go. Nice pound. Okay, we're up 16-11 already. That was fast. Double block. Is he going to tip it? Daichi sees it's a tip. He moves in. He free balls the tip. Well done, Daichi. Daichi is focused. He knows that he's reading everybody. Great dig, buddy. Asahi just... Oh, you got dug, bud. You got dug, though. Tsuki pounded. Okay, so he's paying attention. No quicks when it's off. So he's just going outside to get the close block. And you get a slam block on the punk guy who was chirping earlier. Send a chirp through the net, you piece of trash. Okay, so they're saying they had pra plenty of practice against great teams, so now they're playing weaker teams. I mean, everything's clicking. They've got confidence. Nice, Santa Tanaka. Well done. Kagiyama ripping the spin as well. Oh, thank you very much, Eraser Head. I'd love to see some damn chirps. Why is y Yachi sitting with the kids making it seem like she's a kid? No, she's in high school. Okay, 24-16, first set. This guy's pissed, and he's regretting that he yelled at Hinata earlier. You should be, bud. Oh, he's flashing back to when they played Shiro Torizawa and got crushed by that guy. That guy's got a hilarious hairdo, by the way. I don't know what's going on there. Was it a ponytail or something? Okay, so they're showing a flashback of this Tawada guy just giving up completely. Like, giving up, there's no point, the team's too good, he's... Then this guy, Ogi Minani, goes for it anyways. Like, is he learning a lesson? But Karasuna is just about to beat these guys. Like, we're getting a flashback of this guy, we're about to crush him and move on. More flashbacks to these guys. Oh, he catches his old buddy crying. The guy with the weird hair. Crying for the loss. He gets pissed. He's going to whip him with a towel. And then he pounds and gets dug easy by Nishinoya. He into super quick. Okay. Okay. What? No. Okay. I, like, 
I get that they have to do great visuals, but the show does such a great job of staying true to volleyball and then just completely blows it. Where Hinata comes from, he was blocking out there on the left side. There's a dig. He runs all the way around to run a back shoot. Kageyama faces the other direction. He wouldn't be facing that way. And then Kageyama sets him a back shoot set to the left side where Tanaka would have been just right there ready for the set. It looked super cool, but it was just not what would ever happen. Yeah, like he goes around to the outside, gets a back shoot and pounds it. Well done. Very cool for game, but no, that's a... You just broke the formation. That's not what we set up earlier. We set up the unif- All right, whatever. Winning or losing doesn't matter. What's important is you guys do your best. Well, they're not doing their best. Because this guy's giving up. We shot a flashback of this guy giving up. Oh, it's their buddy who graduated or whatever who's come to support them with the weird hair. What, is it a ponytail? Is it just he's got alfalfa hair? I don't get that style. Okay, so they get yelled at from the guy in the stands who tells them that giving your best is not lame. And because these guys are a bunch of punks, I guess, they think they're too cool to go hard. So he agrees with them. I guess their captain and leader, whatever, Tawada, agrees with him. But he, but he totally gave up previously. So he's trying to continue his buddy's thing and say they're going to beat Karasuno. But we're, we're pretty confident they're not going to do that. Like, we're pretty sure Karasuno's going to pummel them. So he just yelled it out loud. And they chirp him for it? So they just had this moment where they, like, the other team decides that they're going to actually try. And, hey, we're going to win! And then Karasuno, all they go, yeah, challenge accepted. It's like... What the heck? Karasu, you just pummeled them and we just talked about how much better they got and they've been competing with better teams. Like, I get, it's like, oh yeah, try no matter what, but they can't, I don't know. I, I don't know how they can, I mean, I get it. I respect the, I guess this is the idea. It's like, hey, you give your best no matter what, regardless of the odds, and you take take what you can get. And, but I don't know. I don't I don't see how they're going to beat Karasuno. So if they're trying to make this dramatic, they better show it being close. That, if they don't show the game being close, I'll be pissed. Because I'll be like, you guys just tried and you got pummeled. It's 22-13 for Karasuno. They're pummeling them. They're absolutely pummeling them. Totally undermining that challenge they were talking about before. Oh, so Coach Yukai went last year to check them out. They had the ability and dedication. But they had a lack of confidence. They didn't have confidence. I guess Hinata is just, just radiating confidence out of him. He's changing things. Kageyama too. They're both confident guys in their own way. The ones who didn't rot. Coach talking about the players who didn't rot. So Daichi, Suka, and Asahi. Suka doesn't even play. Like, let's get some Suka action in there. Okay, so 23-13. Right after these guys just determined, hey, we're going to give it our best and we're going to win. We're going to win. They're telling the viewer that they're going to try to win. And now Karasuno in five seconds is at match point at 24-13. What was the point of that scene before? No drama whatsoever. Okay, this guy's saying it's not over yet. Don't give up. You're down by 11 and it's and it's match point for the other team. Yeah, don't give up. I mean, it's still possible. Probably not though, but let's try it. Oh, he's giving up again. It's the exact same situation that he had against Fuko Rodani. No, the other Shiro Torizawa. And now he's totally giving up on it. Again. Yet, he decides to then not give up on it and goes fully after it and crashes into all their water bottles. Okay, they just managed to get it over. Well done. Tanaka. Oh, you almost put it away. Okay, these guys, okay, these guys are fighting hard. Give me the last one. He knows it's the last one. He's going to get slammed. Oh, no, he got Doug Freeballed. And Hinata's gonna run the super fast quick. 
Well, Karasuno did it. Hey, they pummeled him. They made it on to the next round. I mean, well done. Yeah, good win, boys. I mean, well done. Absolutely. Yep, they absolutely pummeled this team. As they should have. They're good. All right, so that team is all dejected. I mean, you got pummeled. Like, it was not even close. And their old buddy says, great job. I mean, thanks, man. What are you doing with your hair? How do we... How is that even possible? Okay, so are they planting the seed that this might be a team that we might have a challenge with next year? That this team, we pummel them, and that they come back determined to try and get even better with a bunch of second years, because they planted the seed. They said all their third years are gone, so their second years might kind of come up and, and keep getting better. Is this a team we'll maybe have a challenge with next year? Like, is that the seed they're planting for future? It's a long time from now. That's like 20 episodes, 30 episodes from now. Who knows? Gives him a full bow. I mean, that's a huge, I guess a huge sign of respect. They all bow to him and thank him for his energy in helping them. Are we going to see this team again next year? Maybe. Oh, somebody's got a guy who's two meters tall. Somebody's got a massive dude. Oh. Yeah, he, he is huge. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What? Tanaka looks good with a banana. What? What what the hell kind of a line is that in passing? Tanaka looks good with a banana? What? <laughs> Kukugawa, I guess, is the team who won the game and they're going to play them next. And that's the match to get in. They got a guy who's massive. There he is. Big unit. Yep. Kuku, Kaku, Kakugawa. So they'll go to the qualifiers in October if they win. Okay, so they're actually comparing the height difference between Hinata and that big guy. And they're saying it's 40 centimeters. That's like a foot and a half. That's massive. He, they said Hinata's 163 centimeters. That is absolutely minuscule. And 201 is like 6'6", six, six, I think. 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, which is massive, but... Not unheard of for volleyball players. They get some big dudes playing. But Hinata is absolutely tiny. And they're saying that this cat... I don't know who that cat is. Are we supposed to know who that is? It is exact. It is showing, though, it is a massive difference. Hinata is minuscule. They're also saying Tekachu. Like, are they mentioning... Is, there, is that like a, a fake Pikachu? is also 40 centimeters, and that's the difference? That's hilarious, though. The, okay, he's getting worried about them talking about how much shorter he is than that guy. Hey, relax, Hinata. You're shorter than everybody. You're way shorter than everybody. Yeah, Yachi's worried if Hinata is going to be okay. I ship them 100%. They, they are... Uh, gonna be a great couple someday that that's gotta happen come on she cares about him he cares about her but only volleyball really as well it's a, it's it'll be some drama in there for sure okay so we're getting ready for the next game against the big dude the one big dude everybody else is maybe garbage all right guys well that'll do it for this episode um i was maybe a little bit harsh this one talking about kind of complaining about some things but uh yeah that that like, from a story perspective, it just didn't make sense to me to tell the story that, like, to have that scene where the other team just amps himself up. Yeah, we're gonna win! We're gonna do it! We're gonna try now! And it, it created no drama in the episode. No thought, no, no thought in my mind that, oh, maybe Karasuno loses. At a single moment did I think that, because five seconds later, after these guys have this emotional moment where they're like, yeah, let's come together, I was like, okay, please come together. Immediately, the, the show transports to one they're down by 10, 23, 13. And it's like, you totally undermined that entire scene. Why didn't we have it in, in the first place? But I guess maybe they're planting a seed for future episodes. I don't know. Don't spoil it for me down below. 
but uh, I thought some of the volleyball stuff was super cool. Like you see some cool stuff. Like you need to run around pounding, it's fun. I mean, and seeing the things come together, Asai rip an ace, that was great. I was hyped about that when Asai ripped an ace at the beginning. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see this get going, but I want to see some drama, right? Like it's a, I, I mean, you want to see some excitement, some action, some kind of tension and resolution when you're watching a story. So hopefully we get to that with this big unit when we slam him or shut him down, or maybe he pushes them a little bit. So anyways, I'm hoping for that. So that'll do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we hope to see you next time on Yes Guy Gaming.